What's up everybody? Over the last few months, I've created videos on my TikTok and Instagram using a resin 3D printer. Now honestly, one of the top questions I get is how it works. But first, let's get to why I'm making this video. Inside of this box is an Elgu LCD 3... Oh, I did that backwards. Where is it? Over here? Inside this box is an Elgu LCD 3D printer. But not just any one, like a super fast one. But I'm going to take you guys through some of the features of an entry-level resin 3D printer. Let's do it. So if you guys are looking to get into 3D resin printing, this is one of the machines you'd most likely start with. Got a box here. This is the tools, the electrical cord. We got some gloves. It actually comes with a lot. So it comes with this metal scraper, and this is going to help you get your builds off the build plate once it's done printing. We got gloves, a measuring cup, and a USB stick for your 3D files. Just some maintenance tools. The power cord. A few resin filters. Some pliers. We got some masks. And it comes with a rubber seal for the lid. And a plastic scraper in case any of your prints fail and get stuck on the film. Next is the machine. Right there. Okay. <laughs> is this a weird angle? <laughs> I can't sit straight up because if I do that, then I'm like, I'm like cut off, right? This right here is the Elgu Mars 2 Pro. There's a lot of words. I'm going to explain what it is. It's got this nice red UV protected case. There's our build plate. This is a better angle. I'll be able to explain it so much easier. This right here is the Elgu Mars 2 Pro. If you're looking to get into 3D resin printing, you want to go with one this size. It's not going to take up a lot of space in your house. Honestly, unless you're doing really big pieces, you can get the job done with this. This is your build volume, okay? So you can only build as big as your build plate. That's what you got to work with. Now, some examples of things I've made on a UV resin printer. We got me as an astronaut here, but it's a very detailed print. Um, I also made this guy, the Diamond Hands GameStop on a Wall Street Bowl. So I just got into 3D resin printing a month ago. And after one week, I upgraded my machine. My first machine was a Creality. It cost me around $280 and I was obsessed. I mean, the Creality made these guys. The detail was insane. Another perk is that this is actually a cheaper hobby than to do plastic 3D printing with filament. So the last machine that I had cost me around $650. However, in the end, the materials long-term will be cheaper. The Mars 2 Pro comes with a six inch monochrome LCD with 2K HD resolution. And it only takes two seconds per layer of exposure to cure the resin. Look at this setup, <laughs> this is so good. Okay, so this printer before taxes and shipping cost me around 280 bucks. This one's around 350 bucks. This takes eight seconds a layer. This takes two seconds a layer. Power it up. So this machine supports 13 different languages. That fan you're hearing is a built-in activated carbon filter. UV resin, it, it, depending on what resin you get, the cheaper stuff will actually smell. So what that does is it actually sucks the air from the inside as this is curing the resin and makes sure it eliminates as much smell as possible. This being a UV resin 3D printer, of course, you need UV resin. So this is just standard gray. You don't wanna have this in the lights because, well, the sunlight will ruin this entire batch. Give it a shake before pouring it in. And what's great is this actually has a max indicator on the vat. And that's as high as you wanna pour your resin because the second the build plate goes in, it's gonna raise everything, right? So you don't wanna go higher than that. This stuff is so sensitive to UV rays. I had the lid off for literally 40 seconds. And it's beside this window right here. It did not take long. UV resin cures so fast. It's got this like skin now. Damn it. So you gotta be really careful. Next, we're gonna use the USB that comes with it. And we're gonna load up a file onto here. So we're gonna load up Chidu Box. And we're gonna set up a new machine profile. What's great with this is under Elgu, you can select Elgu Mars 2 Pro and all the settings will be already automatically added in. Next, we're gonna load in our print. And today we're doing this bulldog. I believe it's called Big Papa. You'll see why. <laughs> we're gonna scale it to fit to its max size on this build plate. And you can see this is our character. Now, the reason why I chose this figure is because there's a lot of detail. I wanna show you guys how this printer works. Toss in some supports, and this is just gonna make sure we have a successful print. And now check this out. This is estimating just over six hours of print time. I went in and I changed the settings to be my Creality machine, and it's saying 10 and a half hours. So this printer is almost twice as fast as my original Creality machine. I then saved it to a USB stick, popped it into our machine, and on the screen you can click it and it'll actually show you what your model looks like before hitting print. I'm gonna submerge the build plate in the resin. And it's gonna start. 3D resin printing is not the coolest thing to time lapse because it's constantly going up, then down, then up, then down really quick. So they have these really ugly time lapses. 
So this layer shift, that's my fault. That's where I topped up the resin. First print is a success. All right, let me clean this up and show you guys the detail. All right, let's check out the prints. This is print number one. It's the Bulldog. But this white stuff, that's because I left it too long in the UV black lights like curing chamber. I, it was totally my fault. I forgot about it and I feel like it overly dried it. The layer line came off, like it's smooth. If I were to paint this, you wouldn't see that either. And here's the front. So as you can see, it's very detailed. Something to notice in the face. Even look, look into his hood. I don't know if you can see it, but it goes all the way back and it's like not even touching. The chain on his neck, like this thing can get very detailed. I'm impressed. Comparing it to my other printer that is slower, the detail is still impressive on that one. Like this was me as an astronaut. Things you can notice is like where my hat is, it gets that little gap too. So they're both extremely detailed printers. However, the Mars 2 Pro, you'll get it done in half the time. So there's one. We got the details. So I chose this because it's got a lot of detail in the chain. Now I wanted to print something with a lot of detail. And so I went with a high poly realistic hand. So look at this guys. This is 3D printed on the Mars 2 Pro. And I chose it because I wanted to show you the detail it'll actually get. Like the this gets like the veins in the back of the hand, get like the rippling and, and you can see it's got like the skin texture in the palm. Like look at that, it's got the fingerprints. I'm so impressed that for 350 bucks, I could create something so realistic. I do want to mention, this is the max build volume um, height-wise. You have to put a hole so the resin on the inside can come out. If you don't, like I didn't with this dog, it gets trapped in there forever. Like, listen. So there's a bunch of uncured resin that's pretty much wasted that is chilling on the inside of him that it will never cure because it's completely solid and there's no sunlight. All in all, I honestly would say I recommend you guys spend a tiny bit more to get the Elgu Mars 2 Pro and get twice as fast printing speeds, a slightly bigger build plate, and an LCD screen that's going to last you longer. For that one week that I had that Creality machine, it smelt up my whole front of my condo. At one point, I even put it outside on my balcony to use it. Now, I don't know if it's fully the rubber stripping that is making this almost scentless, but this smells like 80% less than the Creality machine. And while they're both amazing machines in terms of detail, I would highly recommend paying a little bit more to get the Elgu Mars 2 Pro. If you guys are looking to get into resin 3D printing, I highly suggest starting with a machine of this size, and then you could later upgrade to bigger models. Be sure to give a like and comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe. I apologize it didn't shoot like a, a visual ending, so this will have to do. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Later.